Hi, good afternoon, brethren. I'm going to do this book review on the recommendation on this book called Theology You Can Count On, and it's by Tony Evans. And this is a systematic theology put out by Tony Evans. It's uh, one volume, as you can see right here. That's the one volume. And the title underneath or the, says, or the words underneath say, Experiencing what the Bible says about God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, angels, salvation, the church, the Bible, the last things. And this is what the spine looks like. And it's put out by Moody Publishers. And if you know anything about Moody Publishers, they are very conservative. They're conservative evangelical publishing um, a publisher. And uh, this is a very good systematic theology. It's only one volume. And some systematic theologies tend to be you know, three or four volumes, or even five. This one's only one. And if you've never heard Tony Evans, he's a good preacher. Now, you know, I have, I'm not, I don't agree with everything he teaches. Nevertheless, he, it's a very good systematic theology. And this systematic theology is based on his, uh, it's based on his Understanding God series. So it's some, it's a series of books that he wrote in about doctrine like there's one called totally saved our god is awesome the promise the battles of the lord's god's glorious church who is this king of glory the transforming word the best is yet to come what matters most in returning your first love so this whole systematic theology is based on all these books right here that you see so this volume here is condensed into uh, uh, it's a sh it's a version it's, it's a shorter version of those books, but it's still a systematic theology because he goes systematically through the doctrines of the Bible, and I'm gonna read the back of the book so you get an understanding of what it is. It says you don't need to be a scholar to understand theology. The Bible is written to real people facing real problems, says Tony Evans. That's why Theology You Can Count On offers theology in bite-sized nuggets, short chapters with illustrations that make theology easier to understand. Because he wants readers to apply God's Word to their lives, Dr. Evans moves beyond explaining what theology means to showing what theology does in the lives of those who embrace the teachings of Scripture, giving a release from the past, power in the present, and hope for the future. Dr. Evans tackles some of Tuff's tough questions. Why does a holy and powerful God allow evil? If God is sovereign and has already determined everything that will happen according to what pleases Him, then why do we need to choose? If Satan is real, how do I fight against him? His answers offer reasons, yet he acknowledges the whole counsel of God is not ours to know. Along the way, he wields story, humor, and metaphor to help us understand better the nature and plans of God and His Son, Jesus, as well as the roles of the Bible the Holy Spirit, the Church, and prophecy in declaring truth to the world in the 21st century. Each chapter ends with personal application as well as group questions that help you explore the subject deeper and unlock related scripture. The book is ideal for private or small group study. Dr. Evans applies theology to daily life in this volume based on eight classic books from his Understanding God series. The study of God is the most, important, is the most meaningful pursuit in life, he says. Begin your pursuit today. And this is a picture of Tony Evans. It says he is the founder and senior pastor of Oak Cliff Bible Fellowship in Dallas, founder and president of the Urban Alternative, former chaplain of the Dallas Cowboys, and present present chaplain of the Dallas Mavericks. His radio broadcast, The Alternative with Dr. Tony Evans, can be heard on over 1,200 U.S. radio outlets daily and in more than 130 countries for and that's his website, TonyEvans.org. He's actually the first um, African American to graduate from Dallas Theological Seminary. And if you know anything about Dallas Theological Seminary, um, there they have put out very good material. A lot of good teachers have come out of Dallas Theological Seminary. And we have to, uh, Tony Evans, Andy Woods, J. Dwight Pentecost. Lewis Berry Schaefer, um, John Wal Walverd. There's just a, a collage of, of very good teachers that have come out of this, this seminary. 
and they've put out very good material. And like I said, I don't agree with everything, you know, Tony Evans preaches on. I've actually heard a couple of his sermons. He is, uh, he leans free grace. So free grace theology, he's dispensational. And uh, he leans that way. But, you know, just because, you know, you don't agree with a certain author in every single point, I, mean, I, don't, I don't believe that there's two Christians on earth that agree with every little jot and tittle. But, you know, we're if you're if we're a mature Christian and if you're a mature Christian, that doesn't mean you're gonna toss out books that from believers you don't agree with and you know, just throw them in the trash because there's gonna be some things we may not agree even with our favorite preachers or the people we listen on YouTube. So you know, mature believers not gonna throw out books from other preachers is because they don't agree with on one point or something. And, you know, as I say, as I said before, and, I, and I've said it to other believers that, you know, you keep, you keep the good and toss out the bad. You keep the good and you toss out the bad. So, as I said, you know, and there's things in this book, you know, you may not agree with, I don't agree with, but nevertheless, it's still a good book. And it's a systematic theology and he goes through all the doctrines of the Bible. He goes through the doctrines. And this is what the title looks like. These are the contents. And I'm not going to read everything, but he starts off with, you know, what's theology proper, which is the doctrine of God the Father. And, you know, that's obviously the first thing we go through in systematic theology, or you go through, it's theology proper, the doctrine of God the Father. You have section one, the subject of God. So he goes to the attributes of God, and you see all the attributes, the omniscience, his grace, his holiness. The second one, the second part is Christology. And if you don't know what that is, that's the doctrine of God the Son. And just so you know, I never went to seminary school. I'm not a bio I never went to Bible college. So I'm not per se trained in the ministry per se if you would say it that way i never went to any bible college I, I never went to seminary school i'm a layman and uh nevertheless that doesn't mean because i'm a layman or because if you're a layman that doesn't mean that we shouldn't learn these doctrines because this, this is thought these are the doctrines of the bible and if you don't, if you're a new believer, you don't know what a systematic theology is, or if you're a believer, you've been a seasoned, you're a seasoned believer, you don't know what that is. A systematic theology is pretty much uh, going through the Bible. It's 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 looking at the Bible in um, a bird's eye view, and it's looking at it in the in the big picture by going through the all the doctrines of the Bible that the Bible has, and it's going through it systematically. So you have the first one, which we just read, theology proper. That's the doctrine of God the Father. The second one, Christology, the doctrine of God the Son. And then we have pneumatology, the doctrine of the Holy Spirit. So that's what systematic theology is, going through all the doctrines of the Bible systematically. And every believer should own a systematic theology. Even if you don't, if you're not in ministry, if you're not in ministry, but if you're not in a Bible college, you're in a seminary, it does not matter because every believer should own a systematic theology and have one in their library. So you get an overview of all the doctrines of the Bible. So you can understand, you know, the doctrines and apply them to your life. And there's many believers today, unfortunately, um, that don't know much doctrine because they're not being taught in their local church. And their local church may not preach on doctrine. The local church might... Um, avoid doctrine and so therefore they're not growing so they have to you know find christian literature to supplement that and if you're in a church you know fellow saying that you're not growing in doctrine buy yourself a systematic theology i i suggest you buy this one it's only one volume and it won't take up much space in your library i got this one for i think 25 bucks in christianbook.com very cheap you can probably find it on amazon a little cheaper it's only one volume, so it's not going to take up a whole lot of space. But you should definitely get a systematic theology. And just study it out. You go through the all 
the to the doctrines of the Bible systematically, and that's what a you know a systematic theology is. So I'm going to continue. Part four is angelology. That's the doctrine of angels. Did I skip one? Huh. I think I did. I don't know. Oh yeah, I did. Uh, part five, soteriology, the doctrine of salvation. Then you have part six, ecclesiology, the doctrine of the church. Uh, part seven, bibliology, the doctrine of the Bible. And then the last one, oh, there we go. that's part eight, eschatology, the doctrine of the last things. So these are, he goes through it systematically. And as I said before, he's pretty much, he's a very good teacher. Um, Tony Evans is a very good teacher. He explains he can he he has the ability to to take very complex doctrines and explain them very very well and easy for the person to understand. He has he's a he has that ability very well. He can he has that, and uh, he adds some humor in this book. There's definitely some humor, and often believers have this idea that. Studying the Bible can be daunting. It can be boring. Um, I personally know some believers who think that way, but it doesn't have to be that way. Change your thinking on that. If you if you think the Bible is boring, you know, have another thought. Understand that theology, studying the scriptures, can be very fun. You can actually have fun with it. You can have fun. It doesn't have to be this boring task. It can actually be very fun. And remember, the most important thing when you're studying Scripture is to apply it into your life so you can grow as a believer. That's very important. And we don't want to make um, studying Scripture just a mere uh, mental exercise, like if you were studying a history book or a math book or something. You know, this is you're, you're dealing with God's Word. So when you study the Scriptures, it should be Serious, but at the same time, have fun with it. It should be very fun. It's something to have to to do and have fun at the same time. And I guarantee you, once you get into God's Word, more and more, you're going to have fun. You're going to have a lot of fun, in fact. So that that's pretty much it. That's the table of contents I read there. He has acknowledgments, an introduction page. And he starts off with theology proper, which is the doctrine of God the Father. And he goes to the sections, and something that's very neat about his this this book, and uh, something that's not very seen in other systematic theologies, is he gives you questions and applications, which is something very cool. Usually, most systematic theologies he uh, are um, they're full of just knowledge of the scriptures, which is good. But they don't give you they, they don't give you any section on personal application or any group study questions or just questions for yourself in general. So this one he, that's something he cool about it. He he did this in order for the believer to apply the doctrines to their lives in order to grow. So he has a personal application at the end of each section. You know, for example, I'll read the first one. It says, How long has it been since you thought about the fact that God created you out of His good pleasure? He wanted to create you. You are incredibly valuable to Him. Thank you. The, thank the Lord that He loved you so much and ask Him to help you see other people in, in this light. And there's other ones. You know, he has four applications here. Then he has it for a group study. He has questions as far as, you know, in, in reference to to what you know that what he's uh, talking in this certain section, and then he has a picture of this, and then it shows you our completeness in God as pictured in Psalm twenty three. So it's like a picture and how to how to understand and understanding what that is. So we here have uh, Psalm twenty three. It says our need spiritual Psalm twenty three verse two and three, God's sufficiency in the midst of life's frustrations detours. God restores and rejuvenates our souls. So it's something to just, you know, take, apply as many applications, just take it and put it into your life so you can grow. And that's that's just the, the cool thing about this uh, systematic theology. And the book is, 
let me see it's pretty thick so it's uh, about 1,300 pages so there is an index for the scriptures a scripture index and it shows you where all the you know in the Bible there's a subject index as well as a scripture index in the end um, so this is a very good book you should read a systematic theology and if you don't have one you know I suggest get this one it's one volume it's a little it's a tiny it's a little heavy I'm gonna be honest with you but it's not bad and it won't take up no space if you can imagine you know, it would be on your shelf like that. And very good book. He's a good... I, you know, I suggest you listen to some of his sermons. He's, he's He has some very good sermons. And as I said before, I don't agree with everything that he teaches. But nevertheless, you know, he put out a good, good systematic theology. And he's a well-known uh, preacher, just like um, John MacArthur is a very known preacher. Um, so he's definitely a Dallas Theological Seminary guy. That's where he graduated from. And he's put out some good material. I don't constantly follow him, but, you know, this is a very good systematic theology. You can get it pretty cheap on christianbook.com or on Amazon for even cheaper. So if you don't have a systematic theology, this is one to get. I recommend it. And it's gonna. This is video is gonna be going to my recommended list, my playlist, which is I have. If you have not seen, I have a playlist of recommended Christian literature that would help you grow in sound doctrine. Books that you need to add to your, um, to your library so you can grow as a Christian, and uh, you can start applying that into your life. So thank you for watching, and God bless.